Welcome to a Red Dead Redemption 2 video on the Tennessee Walker. Just your average sized horse, Tennessee Walkers can be found pretty much everywhere as NPC owned workhorses, occupying stable paddocks, and even in wild herds. As riding horses, just like the Morgan and the Kentucky Saddler, Tennessee Walkers have poor overall stat distribution. Luckily, they don't handle too badly with standard handling, so they'll stop and go if you ask them to. Just don't pretend you're riding a thoroughbred or an Arabian, okay? Tennessee Walkers have the most coats in the game, rocking six different types. For common coats, we have the Dapple Bay, an eye-catching black Rabicano, a rustic looking red roan and a handsome chestnut. The remaining two coats tagged as uncommon include the mahogany bay and a stunning flaxen roan. As there is a lot of variation with appearances, there are some minor stat differences among the coats. The common coats have three health, three stamina, two speed that maxes at five, and two acceleration which maxes at four. At full bonding, you'll get a nice six health and six stamina mount. The special mahogany bay gets an extra point in raw stamina over the common coats, but it's pretty much the same as your average Tennessee Walker otherwise. Whilst the flax and roan rocks four natural health, five stamina, three speed that maxes at six, and three acceleration which maxes at five. Max bonding and you'll get yourself a decent steed with seven health and eight stamina. A massive improvement over the common coats. These guys don't really spook around guns which is a massive plus for the breed. So get in there guns blazing. Just be sure to watch your partner's health too. Let me say going into the swamp with a Tennessee Walker wasn't the best experience, but it wasn't the worst either. These hardy little guys can stick it out, but don't push your luck. You can still get kicked off. The common coats are readily available for stealing or capture all throughout the world of Red Dead Redemption 2 right out the gate. The Mahogany Bay is a special horse all players will get for free during chapter one of their playthroughs. As a side note, the Mahogany Bay is a one-of-a-kind horse. There is no way to get another one if you so happen to kill it, sell it, or just outright lose it. You've been warned. The Flaxen Roan, although a decent horse, is disappointingly only available once you begin Epilogue 1. It can only be purchased at Tumbleweed Stables for $150. The visible raw stats of the Tennessee Walker may turn a lot of people away entirely, but don't let that discourage you from giving the breed a shot. I highly recommend players to keep the Mahogany Bay early on as it's a fantastic horse till you're able to upgrade to something better. If you lose your starter horse, look for other horses. A Tennessee Walker though will do just fine as a temporary horse until then. Thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and I'll see you in the next one.